Hi, it's Lindsay. Welcome to BB on Blast. I'm still a bit ill, so forgive the croak, but um, I'm aware it's only a three-week season and a lot's happening, so I wanted to um, podcast because a lot of people have been asking me, God knows why. Um, I shouldn't start like that, should I? Um, so I've actually gone through and I've got some, I've even done some research, listeners, can you believe it? <laughs> Not much, to be honest, but it's not like generation y or anything but um yeah let's see what's been going on because it's only a three week series and it's there's a week gone already oh my gosh this year oh i've been ill all year so it's just this year is just anyway whatever who cares about me it's all star is it all stars versus new stars it's not a very catchy um title they've got there and then they've got like the comic book type um theme what? How does that link in with the all stars or the new stars? Doesn't all that just nothing hangs together? It's just a bunch of different ideas that they're just throwing at the wall. Um, <coughs> um, I like the house. I like the uh, furnishings. I like the coloured toilet roll. I want some of that. Um, Emma's looking good. Her hair is. Um, I like the colour. I like the cut. Um, I don't like the slick back, and um. Her clothes are okay. She seems to be going a bit sort of office wary this year. Um, I think Emma secretly um, yearns to work in an office where she doesn't have to deal with Big Brother contestants like Jedward. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, she's stuck presenting about 12 million shows on TV each week. Um, so the lineup of All Stars, mm, it was okay. There's a few that should be there that aren't there and a few that are that well whatever um but i think the notice noticeable notable get, bear with me i'm not well um exceptions who should be in there are well pete bowersby is dead um tiffany a lot of people are wondering where tiffany is and wondering why we've got stacy i'm guessing because stacy is cheaper than tiffany um I've put Alex Reed. I don't know why. I just like Alex Reed. I think he's funny. Perez. Perez would be so good. Uh, I don't know why he's not there. Um, um, there must be others that I can't think of. But it's a bit of a mixed bag. But it always is. But the thing that I'm most, most grateful for. Thank you, Big Brother. Is there's no fucking Geordie Shaw, X on the beach, Towie people. And considering how often these fucking morons win the show it's actually amazing that big brother have restrained themselves and not put these fucking imbeciles in the house so i'm so 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 happy that we've not got bear charlotte crosby fucking lauren goodyear do you know what i mean like oh my god i'm so happy because they really really ruined my enjoyment of the show and the only two who are sort of comparable with that at the moment i say is callum and colleen who have pointless casting um well i'm just so so happy that we haven't got all these fucking lewis Bloor and marnie and all this fucking just boring scripted reality tv fucking assholes um i immediately thought of spidey when i said that but at least their form of scripted reality tv is entertaining um so i'm really really glad thank you that there are no and let's keep that a thing for all future s- series of big brother my cat's scratching (laughs) um no reality tv people big brother is the reality tv show it doesn't need to cast its net out to these inferior shows to get housemates on ass mates right i'm gonna pause cough sip my drink and then we'll get on with the housemates oh god i hope i don't sound too bad i think i sound bad oh anyway um we'll soldier on so, first in, Spidey! Yay! <clears throat> so, Spidey were like, oh, there's only 1%, there was only 1% in it between us and Ryland. Do you think this beef between Spidey and Ryland still exists, or do you think it's just ma- made up thing? It's just acting, isn't it? Um, Spidey are like reality TV stalwarts, aren't they? Um, if you don't watch their season, you're an idiot because it's brilliant. But I'll tell you what happened. No, I'll just give you brief uh, crib notes. Um, Spidey battled with Rylan, Tidefish, Ray- <laughs> Razor Runner. I'll show you horrible bastard. Uh, Claire from Steps. 
<laughs> but not Frankie Dottori because uh, he was hidden under a kitchen counter. Um, if you've never seen that series, you have to watch it. It's so good. the way that they annoy Rylan is so good. Especially if you don't like Rylan, you will love Spidey so much. I actually liked Rylan a lot back then and I have money on him so I was more team Ryland but I loved Spidey as well um and just the whole thing like I never seen like a show end on such bad terms of the final two like sat like opposite each other like miles away from each other normally they're like cold hands and stuff it was just like the beef was real then I don't think it's real now but it's quite a funny little sort of story I guess um I like the jackets they're wearing going in Illuminati chic um, they were immediately looking for booze, as usual. Um, and, yeah, I think, uh, so far, they've not been that good. Which is a bit annoying, but I think, in, I think they just need a bit more time to warm up. I think, probably Spencer don't want to get nominated that soon. Um, but I hope that they're going to live up to expectations. Um... I think so far Spidey and Jedward haven't been as good as I want them to be, but I think it's just because, um, um, I don't know, maybe it's because they're older or, I don't know, I'm hoping that they come out of their shell, as they say. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So next was James Jordan. Oh, what? I can't shout. Oh. Why, big brother? Why? What have we done to deserve this? Poor Audley Harrison is probably sitting at home trying to watch Big Brother and he sees James Jordan come on. So James Jordan's backstory was he had a... Uh, this is the research I've done. I like looked on what happened in their series, even though I watched them all. I can't remember. He had a petty beef with Audley Harrison. They had a notable uh, duel in the, under the dome task. Um, that's quite ridiculous if you want to go back and watch that. Um, and but James Jordan's main role in the house was uh wiping Gary Busey's butt, um, oh, and also toging up to White D. <laughs> Why haven't they brought her back for all stars? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've put the place that they came as well. So Spidey came second in their series to Ryland, and James Jordan came third, beaten by Audley Harrison and Gary Busey, who won. That was one year that the idiot general public actually got it right. Well done. As you know, James Jordan is the Brad Pitt of the dance world. Um, he's a sexist, he's a prick, he's even looking a bit chubby now. Um, so far he's been an absolute dud. The only thing he's done is ruined like beefs that could be interesting by chipping into them with his pointless now. And um, he wasn't even a likeable villain in his own series. He wasn't someone you love to hate. The way he spites to Gary Busey is disgusting. He's just a horrible, horrible person. I don't know why he's in there. He's not an all-star. He's a piece of shit. Next. So Jasmine Waltz was a replacement for Jasmine Leonard. I don't know if they were just going to go through all the housemates called Jasmine. Next on the list was Chloe Jasmine. <laughs> I just thought of that now. It was quite funny, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. Nothing changes. Um... <laughs> um so yeah, Jasmine Leonard, who instantly goes out with Christian MJC in real life. Are they still going out? Surely not. She um, she was like a little skinny evil thing. Um, and uh, apparently she... Was she Holocaust denying or... What was she doing? I don't know. They obviously looked at her Twitter. They didn't look at Tequila, tequila before she went in. It wasn't Holocaust denying. What was it? Oh, I know. Saying all... all terrorists and muslims or all muslims are terrorists or some something along those lines something ignorant um so instead of her uh evil charms we got um jasmine waltz who you may remember from being in a love triangle with casey bachelor and lee ryan that was a good all-star series apart from jim davison one but we don't mention that um so what it was was casey was going out with lee ryan they were, like, having a nice little romance. Then Lee got, had his eye on Jasmine. They started getting off in a UFO in the back garden. Jasmine got evicted, and Casey and Lee got back together again. I think then it was the taps off, taps on, when they went and got off in the bathroom. That was Casey and Lee, not Jasmine and Lee, I'm pretty sure. And then they did a fr freeze task where Jasmine came back in and basically put Lee, Lee Ryan on blast. And then Lee Ryan got evicted for a clock, I seem to remember. Um, that was, that was all good stuff. Um, 
But what is uh, Jasmine Waltz famous for? <laughs> At the moment, she's giving me really strong Carla Connor from Coronation Street vibes. Um, and I said she looked like an anorexic Carla Connor on Twitter, which got me uh, moaned out for body shaming. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Jasmine is basically a love triangle addict. And she's now trying to embark on another lot. No, she already has embarked on another love triangle with two um, hotties in the house, <clears throat> uh, Callum and Jamie. Um, so far, she, I don't think she's even kissed any of them. She put her hand on someone's leg, which Austin got the ump about. Um, and now the whole of Twitter is calling her a slag. Seems fair. Um, the only noticeable... F- no, no, fuck. The only note of all things she says so far is, uh, Stacey wants to sit next to me because I'm cuter than her and she'll get more airtime. A bit bitchy, isn't it? I like her, though. I don't know why. I like her eyebrows, though. She's got them all, like, scrunched up. They look kind of cool. She's way... deserves way better than either Callum Best or that midget footballer. They're both absolutely disgusting. But, um, yeah, more more on that later. So the next housemate in was Ray J. He is famous for having sex with Kim Kardashian and it being released, possibly by him, I'm not sure, on a video. And I think he was going out with Whitney Houston at the time of her death. Oh, shut up. Although we all know that she's allegedly was a lesbian, so that's interesting. Um... He came in the house wearing um, a Union Jack shirt. I don't know if Ray J knows about the um, Union Jack sort of association with the National Front and things like that. So basically he went into the house looking like a bit of a racist. Um, Perhaps someone should have told him. (laughs) Um, (laughs) He spoke for the first couple of days. Uh, Since then he's been largely mute. Um... He's got a jacket that looks like Nicola McLean has shred, shred, shredded it. Um, what else has he done? Uh, mm, no, I've got nothing for you. The next housemate in was Bianca Gascoigne. <laughs> or Bianca, as uh, we all say in England. Um, there's quite a lot of debate about how you say uh, Bianca or Bianca. Spencer Pratt just says Bonka from the strip club. <laughs> So that clears it up. I mean, if she's annoyed with the way Austin's saying her name, she's not going to be too happy when she watches that footage back. Yeah, I know. Gaza must be going nuts. Um, she's got kind of hair made of, like, long yellow nylon. And when she went in, she had, like, spikes coming out the top of her head. Um, looked like she was someone from Northampton or something. Although well, she had taken them out now. She dropped the old escape a scapegoat thing it's just like that is tired I didn't get this whole thing with Callum Best I thought her and Callum Best used to go out together like they dated on Love Island which was a reality show back in the back in the day um and oh thank god the cat's just gone out um <laughs> he's making through his noise um and then um yeah, like, have you seen either Bianca or Callum speak to each other in the house? They, I've never seen them even, like, so much as say hi to each other. Um, but, um, personally, I'd like it if someone mispronounced my name. I think it's quite cute. Um, next person in is Bianca's good friend, Austin Armacost. Woo! I just finished his 2016 calendar. Um, and here he is, back <laughs> back to slash the prices on his 2017 calendar. So, uh, oh yeah, so for the ones who've been there before, I'm telling you the backstory. Well, obviously for the ones who've not been there before, there's no backstory. Um, so his background was, he was in the UK versus USA series, which is a really good series, actually. He was basically an unknown when he came in the house. He ended up coming second to James Hill because James Hill pulled out the, my grandfather's watch card or something towards the end. Um, Austin did a lot of shouting. He was very volatile. He called Janice Dickinson a cunt. He had a go at that redhead one from Atomic Kitten, which I approve of. Um, of course, 
the man's head with James Hill. That was magical. <laughs>